DJI has officially announced the Air 3 and we are super excited to get our hands on it. It's been two long years since DJI came out with the Air 2S and since then there have been a number of improvements in their drone technology. A dual primary camera system, O4 image transmission and extended flight times are a few of the improvements over the Air 2S, but that's just scratching the surface. Without further ado, let's dig into what the new DJI Air 3 has to offer. The most notable upgrade to the Air 3 is its dual camera system. The first camera features a 24mm format equivalent lens on it, while the second camera features a 70mm lens. DJI introduced us to a dual camera system with the release of the Mavic 3. And that drone received a fair amount of criticism due to its drastic difference in image quality between the two cameras. The Air 3, on the other hand, features two cameras, each with their own 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor. That means you will get consistent, stellar results regardless of the camera you choose to shoot with. You can use the 24mm to capture some wide angle shots, then zoom in using the 70mm to capture more of a medium range perspective. The view from the 70mm is going to be three times that of the 24. However, the key factor here is that you have the ability to zoom in optically and therefore are not losing any image quality like you would when zooming in digitally. Both of the Air 3 cameras are capable of capturing up to 4K 60fps HDR video without cropping. You can also shoot up to 48 megapixel stills and have the choice of outputting in either JPEG or DNG RAW formats. Both cameras also support 10-bit D-Log-M and 10-bit HLG color modes. The 10-bit D-Log-M mode gives you the most flexibility in post, while the 10-bit HLG color mode gives you stunning image quality and out-of-camera HDR without the need for intense color grading, which can ultimately save you time in post. So whether you're shooting your next short film or a video that needs to be out by the end of day on Friday, the Air 3 has you covered. Speaking of versatility, the Air 3 also features a vertical shooting mode. In this mode, the camera sensor gets cropped to an ideal aspect ratio for viewing on mobile devices. The maximum resolution goes down to 2.7K 60fps, and this optimized footage is ready to be shared on social media platforms without any cropping necessary. And yes, this feature is available on both cameras. Another notable difference here is the implementation of DJI's O4 transmission technology. This allows the drone to stream video back to the controller at distances up to 20 kilometers, or 12 miles. Now these distances are tested in environments with minimal interference and line of sight. So depending on where you're flying, effective distances may vary. Because of this new technology, DJI also had to make a new set of controllers that work with it. When you buy the Air 3, you can get the RCN2 or the RC2. Now the RC2 is quite similar to the RC1. Both feature a 5.5 inch full HD display. The only primary difference here is its transmission capabilities. The Air 3 offers a 46 minute flight time, which is about a 33% increase over the Air 2S, which had only a 31 minute maximum flight time. Needless to say, you will have plenty of air time and space to line up your shot just right. If you decide to buy the Air 3 with the Fly More combo, you'll also receive a new battery charging hub. Each of the intelligent flight batteries take about 80 minutes to fully charge provided you're using DJI's 65 watt AC adapter. What's truly amazing about the charging hub is that it features a new power transfer function. This allows you to transfer power from other drone batteries to the battery with the highest remaining power. This will definitely come in handy when operating in remote locations without access to an outlet. P3 
People who are considering the purchase of their first drone often have the same approach. Buy the least expensive drone possible so they can learn and then upgrade to a more professional one at a later point in time. However, I typically urge people to consider the fact that higher end drones have advanced safety features that you won't find on lower end drones. The Air 3 is a shining example of this in that it features an omnidirectional obstacle sensing system. This means that the Air 3 is constantly aware of its surroundings. It accomplishes this with a binocular vision system supplemented by an infrared sensor at the bottom of the aircraft. The Air 3 can completely avoid obstacles by using DJI's latest avoidance technology, APAS 5.0. So to all the people who are hesitant about buying a higher end drone, know that flying them is actually far safer than flying a low end one that does not feature obstacle avoidance. Furthermore, if you've ever flown a DJI drone, you know that it takes care of takeoff and landing for you so you don't have to. It seriously couldn't be any easier to fly. In addition to the obstacle avoidance technology you have on board, you also have advanced return to home functionality. When you hit the return to home button on the Air 3, if you have advanced RTH turned on in the settings, it will automatically route itself back to a predetermined home point. If the drone senses any obstacles along the way, it will avoid them and continue its journey back to you. But the Air 3 also features a low battery RTH where the drone will prompt you to engage an RTH flight and a fail-safe RTH where the drone will return to home if it loses contact with the controller. I am personally a huge fan of DJI's Air series. They fall right in between the Mavic and the Mini series and are, in my opinion, a perfect example of when a company can balance value and cost. When it comes to the Air 3, versatility runs in its veins. But what do you think of the new Air 3? Be sure to let us know in the comments. I'm Peter with B&H, and I'll see you in the next one.